All right, guys, it's finally here, the PSVR 2. We've been waiting a long, long time for this, so I'm Soda Moose, so let's get right into it. This is the wrong car, and I'm here is for all really? of it. Oh my god! <laughs> it looks yeah. exactly the same. Yeah, check it out. Look at that. Isn't that tiny though? It's so small, I can't get over it. For some reason I expected, I don't know, maybe because the PS5 box was uh, so big, and then the, the charging station for the controllers. I kind of do wish it was for the headset as well, not just the controllers. You burp. Timestamps are going to be directly below here. For any parts that you want to skip ahead to, re-watch, or if you just don't care about the hardware, you just want to get right into the games, they're going to be down below for you guys to watch and check out. Okay guys, let's open this box and see what's up. And I'm going to say this right now, I'm not sure if this happened to anybody else, but you see this right here? Obviously not camera. This is kind of already opened, I believe. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, just a mistake of packaging. Um, but anybody else that had the system happen to you, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's see what's in this though. What's this here? We've got the voucher for the game. So right there, I got the vinyl, as you guys can probably tell. Charging cord, and Ashley, it comes with some headphones there. I don't know how great they are, but uh, that's kind of a nice feature. I didn't know that came with some headphones. I think we've got the controllers. Yeah, so we gotta get those out. We're gonna look at the headset last because I've been waiting to see these controllers. Um, I know a lot of people say they're nice, but I don't know. I've only ever really dealt with the Quest 2 controllers. Yeah, let's take a look at these controllers. Okay, they feel very light. Okay, here we go. Huh. Cool, they feel actually, okay, there's a trigger here. Actually, they feel incredible. They feel very nice. They feel a lot better uh, than the Quest 2 controllers, by far, in my opinion. You know, I haven't used them. This is the first time I've been to hold them. Um, very light. Like, I mean, there's barely any weight to these. And they're wireless charging. Char wirelessly charging, I can't speak. Um, but no, this is fantastic. And the ring around your wrist, kind of, it's different. But no, that's, man, that's great. Now we've got the beast itself. A headset with the cord. I know some people are like it's a deal breaker. Um, I played some P uh, PC VR with the cord. Honestly, it isn't a huge deal. Look at that. And there she is. And this is very light. I mean, honestly, it's so light I feel like I'm gonna break it. I wasn't expecting it. I was expecting it to be really heavy or heavier than my Quest 2 because of my Quest 2. I'm actually gonna show you my Quest 2. I brought it in for a comparison and yes, it's not the natural Quest 2. Like I've got the Bobo head strap there with the battery, the VR cover as well with some lenses on here and stuff. And this is quite a bit heavier than this. I mean, I don't know the numbers, but I mean, just a comparison. Like this here, very heavy front face. Or this here, I don't even think it's gonna be a huge deal. Pretty big lenses, you guys can kind of see that there. And there looks to be a little dial right here. Okay, yeah, you know, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a little dial that actually changed the IPD, which is very, very nice. Because that's one thing I hated about the Quest 2. Having to change in with that dial, just moving back and forth your finger, hated that. Hmm, let's see here. What? I don't know what that does. I can't figure it out. It must be for the length 
but I'm thick-headed and I can't figure it out. I actually really can't figure it out. A few moments later. When the VR headset is removed, the headset screen will turn on. Okay, blah, 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 blah. So, I'm gonna say this because I was scared of breaking it like I am with anything new. I'm not sure, I was just trying to figure this out, but you have to hold this button in and then you actually, you pull. And I didn't want to do that because I thought I was gonna break it, but look at that. And then you've got a button here that you can just adjust it that way. Power button, speaker. Uh, I'm not sure what this button is. We're gonna find out what that is. And then you've got the uh, four facing cameras right there. And then a very comfortable looking interface or head strap, I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, that looks very comfortable. I'm not talking about it, I guess for right now. I wanna try this on and see what it feels like. I'm gonna take the glasses off, because I don't wear glasses with the Quest 2. Get the ponytail out of the way. Mm, let's see here. Okay, there we go. I was scared there for a minute, because I thought that's gonna be a lot of light. Initially, it's very comfortable here. Very comfortable here. It does feel good. Do see quite a bit of light down here, which I don't like, but I mean, I'm gonna have to figure out how this is gonna fit on on my head and adjust it so it fits me. But the Quest 2 initially, you know, there was a lot of light for me, unless you buy like accessories and stuff. I can't get over how light this headset is. I mean, this feels, it barely even feels like I'm wearing anything. That's why I was so afraid with this dial right here. I was afraid I was gonna break the headset. Then easy to take off. And then the cord, it does look like it's it's attached here. It doesn't look like it can come out at all. Quite a bit of length here, which is good. I was worried about that. That's what she said. <laughs> Especially where it's like integrated into the headset and you can't change it. You have got plenty of cut goes on the floor and it breaks. <laughs> yeah, look at that. One other thing I'll say is, I don't know if you can kind of see right now, but they're not pancake lenses, because I know that's really the big thing with all the future headsets right now. But these here, these lenses, they're big. They're a lot bigger uh, than the Quest 2. Much different in terms of uh, lenses. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... Uh, so that's kind of all that's in the box there. You know, the headset, the two controllers, the game voucher, and just like a, a standard manual. That's, that's kind of it. And this here, the headset here, with it was the bundle. Uh, this is Canadian dollars, it was $819.99 plus tax. And I've decided that I want to die. So a little bit of, you know, a little bit of money here, but uh, I did pick up the other accessory that you could get officially by Sony, which was the charging station, which I'll clear this up here and then we'll open that and see what the hell that's about. I'm just putting some stuff away to open that charging station. Just feeling the controllers again. This is the PSVR2 controller and this here is the Quest. I should say, Obviously, because I know I'm going to give them the comments. This has a battery, this doesn't. So that does make a huge, huge difference. And I do have this added on, this strap here. I can't remember where I got it from. But yeah, just so when you're, you know, you throw on a grenade or something, you can kind of just go like this. You know, the PSVR 2, it does have it, it has this. But uh, I kind of wish there was something, I guess a little here. But this would do just as fine, just so you're not throwing a grenade or something and it doesn't, you know, fly out the window because I imagine that replacements of these are not cheap because the Quest 2 controllers were not cheap. All right, now we got this charging station. I will say up front, I do wish it would charge the headset. It wouldn't have to charge the headset, actually. I don't know. You know what? Uh, no, we're gonna keep I, think I didn't think definitely. about that either, because I agree. Why would you have to charge the station? Yeah, exactly. Are you delusional? Do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness? Anyway, need a knife. Can we get this out of the box? Yes, all right, there we go. Let's get that out. So let's open this up and see what's inside here. Well, we've got whatever this is. The charging ports, I guess. The magnets. Yep, right there. Super, super tiny. And then some instructions or something for it. And power supply stuff, cord, the station itself. Which is, before I talk about anything, it is by far 
the heaviest piece of equipment out of everything that you know was shown here on this table. I mean, obviously, yeah, it holds the charge and stuff like that. So obviously, kind of looks like a like a strap you put on. Actually, you know, put it this way, like an interface. You know, anyone else? Just me? Yeah, probably. That's kind of it. So have the controllers here. Kind of see that. That's what that is right there. I'll put that in there, and then, and then, yeah. So, and that's it. That looks very sleek, actually. I like that quite a bit. Whoops. And this here, um, Canadian, this was $64.99. I just wanted to have for part of this review, you know, kind of everything you kind of get day one so you guys can see and see if it's, it's worth your time or your money. But yeah, that's pretty fantastic. Well, there's no problem. If you had a gun, shoot him in the head. Just some final thoughts, I guess, just on everything that I've unboxed and had a little time to process it just during this recording here. I like the controllers a lot. I do wish there was a little strap on the side that I could put, but that's okay. You know, I'm sure the strap that comes with it dangling down here like this will be fine. The yeah, controller feels nice. It's very light. There's just two buttons on there, the joystick, a PlayStation button that you actually can press in, and then home button, you know, pause button by the lock. And there's a PlayStation button on both controllers, so. We'll find out what that does when we get to some games here. The charging station itself, I really, really like it. It's really nice. It's got the PlayStation logo on there. You know, it's sleek and it looks stylish. And I do like that it is a little heavier, so I'm not afraid that the controllers are just gonna fly off somewhere. And then the headset itself, very, very light. A little confusing at first, just cause I'm so used to the Quest 2. It feels comfortable. I was afraid that it was gonna like hug your face kind of like the Quest 2 did at first. That's not a, a huge, huge deal. The only thing I'll say about this whole thing is that none of it feels cheap. It just, I was surprised at how light everything was because I wasn't expecting that. I don't know what I was expecting. And the only thing that I'm, I am disappointed about kind of just overall, I wish Sony would have included some sort of eye protection. I was expecting for the price, just for them to include something like that because if the sun gets on your lenses and if people don't know that, it's gonna destroy your headset. You know, that sun gets on there and then it's just, you're gonna get some pixel damage and that's just not cool. Well, you're certainly doing your job today, Mr. Sun. Oh, rats. So now that we've kind of taken it all out of the box, just dived into it a bit and seen what it you know, feels like to put on and hold and all that stuff, I think it's important now that we hook it up to the PS5, see how easy it is to install and just try some games and see what all that's about because I know I've been waiting for new experiences that aren't the quest and I know a lot of the games are the same but I'm just looking for a little more fidelity in the games a little more power um, to it so we're gonna try uh, RE Village we're gonna try GT7 and we're gonna try Horizon but enough luggling you know let's go hook this thing up we've got this booked up to the PS5 we've got all the games installed right now just kind of test them out and stuff so I'm gonna take my glasses off, my toque off, and we're gonna get this on and see what it's all about. Yeah, oh, here we are. Brightness check is complete. That's cool. Next, follow the on-stream guide how to put on the headset. That would have helped earlier. <laughs> Look at that, that would have helped a lot. Put on your stereo headphones. Very nice. Oh, it's trap. Okay, that's weird. To make sure you can see the screen clearly, adjust the lens distance so that your eyes are positioned in the middle of the lens. What the music they got playing right now? You know, I, I, I made a comment earlier at the beginning there about not having like grips around, but I mean, look, see? I mean, that is, that's nice, okay? I wish I could record this. The screen's all white now. I'm just kind of following a red dot with my eyes. I guess it's for the eye tracking. Eye tracking adjustment is complete. Try it out by looking at the surrounding dots to see how it works. Oh, eye tracking, it's so weird. All right, set an area you can safely play VR games in. Be careful of the headset cable when setting up your play area. That's good advice. Oh, man. Oh, cool. Oh, can I? 
Man, this is neat. It's literally scanning the entire room, kind of like Tron, there's just blue everywhere. This is neat. I haven't had to do anything with the controller. You know how with the Quest, you probably just draw a line or whatever? Like, I can see the geometry of a coffee table, a TV. This is cool, man. Beats drawing a line and having to touch the floor. Oh, I just <laughs> mentioned touch the floor. <laughs> uh, look at the floor of your play area. It should appear to be level with your room's floor. That looks fine to me. No, that's fine. We're just gonna get away from the, the lights a bit. I can just do this all day. Cool. You're all set. There we go. All right, recording started. Excellent. I'm a beginner, I know. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my Jesus. Oh, this is crazy. Oh my God. Woo. Ooh, wow. Oh my. <laughs> Get out of my way, I'm a motorist. Beep beep, out of my way, I'm a motorist. <laughs> Oh, look at the rear view mirrors. This, look, look, look. You can see myself. You can see, look at that. Oh, <laughs> this is crazy. Get out of my way. Yeah. See ya. I left you in the dust. Oh, I better pay attention here. And driving in VR is very hard to pull off because I know in Bone Lab, we drive around that go-kart. Oh man, I got a little nauseous, but this here, I'm really surprised. I'm feeling great. Yeah, I see you. Man, just, it brings another level to uh, a racing game. Looks spectacular too. I can't get over this. Look, look, I get closer. That's crazy to me. Man, I can see why people were so hyped for GT7 in VR. I gotta, no, it's important to watch the cars when you take a turn, you know, going, going fast. Oh, I, I, oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't pass. Oh, okay, I guess I gotta go quicker. I was having too much fun. I wanna drive straight into, down here, this is good, this is good. Right here, oh my God, oh my God. Who, who, no damage. Oh, it restarted me on the road. Out of my way, jerk. See that right there, that makes, that makes the entire purchase worth it, right? Take it your, your frustrations that you experience on the road in GT7, right? We're just missing the middle finger. Out of the way, out of the way. You know, I know seeing it, you know, on YouTube or whatever on flat screen, it, it's not the same as sitting here and, and playing it. It's something that has to be experienced. And we're gonna stop recording now. Man, that's cool. Oh! <laughs> I'm just looking at the text, it's kind of weird. Hold on, like, I check this out. I'm not moving my head. I know, I'm moving my eyes. That was crazy. Moving based upon your physical gestures. So again, I'm just moving my eyes. Ooh. Yeah, paddle. Come on, I can't. Wait, wait, what? Look at that. <laughs> Peace. Okay, some uh, haptics on the headset there. That's cool. I can feel the water on a controller there. That is cool. Wow. Oh, it's all that. What's up, buddy? Ah, yes. Okay. So grab narrow, or grab it from my back, yes. Okay. Oh, man, we're really getting high up here. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Hey, okay. What's this? Hello? Can I come in? Okay. All right. Okay, very good. I'm happy. It feels really good. It feels weighty, which I do like. Um, okay. I do like that a lot of things are interactive. Like right here, that's what I like. That's what I like to have like Alex. Is this Half-Life Alex? I haven't played it as much. Half-Life Alex is great, uh, but so far it's excellent. We have to get in some combat though, see how that feels. Oh, cool. That's what I'm here for, that kind of stuff. I do like the climbing. The climbing 
it feels like it's gonna be a huge feature of the game. Like I didn't watch too much promotional material that I wanted to go into all this blind, right? Um, but things track well. The cord on the PSVR 2, I am just, you know, I'm wary on it, right? Because I can feel it right now, tug a bit, but it's because I didn't put it behind my shirt. Um, but aside from that, doesn't bother me so much. Okay, left or right to strafe. Okay, so it's not free moving. Left or right to dodge. Okay, come on. Ooh, close. Oh! Ooh! Yeah! I wish you could crouch. That's one thing I wish you could do by pushing in. And that's okay. What do you. What? That was fun. I didn't think that would be fun. I didn't think not having control, but that worked really, really well. I like it so far. I want to get more into it. Um, it looks great. It plays really well. Oh! We got gross arms. Blah. Start game. Let's. VR bonuses. Let's go standard. Here we go. Oh. Oh, we're just in here right away. Okay. I definitely don't want staff turning. What do you got here? Controls for the camera movement, knife use, weapon use, striking. Okay. And we. All right, we can run. Take the knife out. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So, a lot like RE4 so far. Get the handgun. Look at those guns. That's what I'm here for. Wow. Okay. Jet magazine. Take ammo from your pouch. That's weird. Okay, hold on. Oh, it's because of my right eye. Okay, I see. I'm just discovering that I'm left eye dominant. Yeah, I, I had no idea. Get out of here. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Super satisfying, and I'm getting like uh, feedback on the headset. It's weird. Looks great. Looks just as good as the flat screen version, from what I can tell. What's with you loving a man that has no body? Just floating islands. Yes. Come on. Give me the baby. Oh, God. <laughs> we can't. No. How rude. Oh, my. Oh, they knew. They knew! What are you doing? Oh, like, dip the baby in the stew! All right, let's just get you to bed. Oh, let's hang the baby upside down, going up the stairs. Look at you. Yes, your floating father arrives, puts you to bed. Damn, I'm getting hungry. Wait a minute, what the hell is that? What's that on the right? That grows. That don't look all right. That, I mean, everything else looks good. Oh my god! Hi Chris. It is so dark. Okay. Oh Jesus. Oh. <laughs> oh this this is yeah, okay. Alright. Man, it's 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 a little I don't know what it looks like on the TV or on the recording here, but this is this is like Okay. <clears throat> Alright. <laughs> and I played this section before. Oh my god! This is great. I kind of think it's weird, this, but I understand why they did it. It's some of the, 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 the cutscenes there, but I'm like melding it. A little strange, but um, no, so far I'm glad I waited to play this game. I only got to the castle. Oh, can I pick it up? I wish I could pick more stuff up. Oh man, I've never noticed that before. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah. Oh my god. Ah! 
Oh man, I'm okay. I need to get I need to get out of this woods. I'm not I <laughs> the, the the noise of what's around me and it's so dark. I never noticed that before. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Ooh, holy smokes. All right, so I just got done playing for the wall. You can probably see the uh, the marks on my forehead from the headset. After playing some Horizon, Village, and GT7, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. Oddly enough, I'm the most impressed with GT7. That was, that was crazy. I'm just being able to be in the car and look over your shoulder and stuff. Super cool. Village was really, really good, but I gotta get more into it. And same with Horizon, you know, I gotta spend more time with all of this. Really the whole point of it was for me to just get in there and see the experience. The setup of the headset was really, really easy, even though sometimes I'm like, oh, what's going on? Usually on my end, it's nothing to do with it not being clear. And something I didn't mention earlier, this here, that's a microphone, no idea what it was. And this button here is the pass-through and the power button. So pretty easy, you just hit the switch for pass-through and you're right there, which is fantastic instead of you know, if you're going from a quest to this, you know, tap on the side there, which sometimes is annoying. It, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work, and then sometimes it just shows up for whatever reason. The cord didn't bother me. I'm gonna have to play a lot more than just, you know, a few hours, but the cord didn't bother me. The length seemed optimal for my play area. I still think it would have been cool if it could have been wireless. I know a lot of people, it was a make or break for them, they didn't want to get the headset because it was a wireless and that's completely understandable. So the bundle and the charging station all together, it was a little over a thousand bucks. I'm gonna have to spend more time with it to see if it was worth it, but initially I'm really happy with it. I do love the little dial on the top to change your IPD. So instead of having to take the headset off, change the lenses, the lenses, excuse me, you know, put it back on. I was like, oh, it's not quite, well, quite right, put it back on. You're just in the headset and you can just Flick the dog, which is fantastic. The camera here, I have this camera. I know a lot of people don't like it very much. Um, I'm gonna see if this does work on the system in a later video. I do wanna see if you can live stream with this as well. I don't know how seeing chat, if you can, will work. I don't know how that's integrated because you can live stream with the PS5. So I wanna see if that works. But the clarity of the headset, the FOV was fantastic. The games look sharp. They ran really well, really, really well. I was scared they uh, you know, wouldn't for some reason. And the controllers, I thought I was gonna have an issue with there being no straps in there, but honestly, the way the controllers are built with the ring there, just kind of have them in the air and the little straps that are on the end, found no issues. Again, those were super light, so that was really, really nice and easy to na uh, navigate as well after I got the hang of where the buttons were and stuff, but they felt really, really good. I um, mean, not a lot of weight in the hand, which was, I mean, great for me. Some people like a lot of weight for the controllers. Some people like them to be really light, but for me, those were like spot on what I was looking for. But overall, this felt really, really good. It was really light. It was easy to adjust once I got the headset on. These headphones as well, surprisingly sounded really, really good. Especially in Village, man, that was, you've probably seen from the footage, I was scared and I'm not kidding, like I really was getting the chills. I mean, I played that section before, but uh, that in VR, man, that was different, that was different. I wish you could have done, you know, there's a mod for PC VR with the baby, but anyway, that's a, that's a whole ramble there. But if you did stick around to the end, I really appreciate it. If you liked it, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. Any comments down below, let me know if you picked this up day one. Are you waiting? Are you waiting for more exclusives for the PSVR 2 to come down from Sony? Because they're a little lacking on that. I, you know, 100% have to agree. We need more exclusives for the system. But anyway, until next time, I'm Soda Moose, and take care.